my name is Boualem Ben Amirouch. I'm a tour guide. Generally, we are guiding people around this old city of Algiers, known by the Kazakh. It's a world heritage today, from 1992. And this city, as I said, is the oldest city of Algiers. And the bottom of the history, uh, the history of this city started by the lighthouse you can see down. There were four small islands where the Phoenicians set forth for, for food first. And uh, the four small islands gave the name to the country also. Al Jazeera was taken from those islands that were there at that time. Uh, after the Phoenicians, the Romans were here. After the Romans, the Bambles, uh, the Byzantines, uh, the French. A lot of civilizations passed by here. And of course, the Kasbah is known by two famous names. The uh, Algiers the Well Protected and Algiers the White. Algiers the Well Protected because the Kasbah in the Ottoman period was surrounded by ramparts, 3,200 meters of ramparts. And uh, Algiers the White, it's due to the respect for others. The whole city was painted white and no tiles and no marble was allowed. No aspect of richness was allowed to uh, to respect the feeling of the poor and the writers coming from Europe called it Algiers the White, seeing the whole city of 45 hectares made white. The city we are speaking about. Now, do, do you see how often do you see Americans here in Algiers? Uh, in fact, if we speak about Americans, I, this lets me to speak about uh, the foreigners that are in Algeria. If I am to do a list uh, of uh, the people visiting Algeria, we can say so without fearing with that. Uh, we can say that the French are topping the list. Yeah, of course. And of course, uh, among the others, we can say also that we are seeing more and more Americans visiting America. Now, of course, the number as compared to the French people is not yet the same, but we are seeing more and more. Every year, uh, more Americans coming to Algeria. We hope to see more. Well, there's, al there's always a perception in the United States People, when one says I'm going to Algeria or consider Algeria, they have in their mind memories of the 90s. How, how would you appeal to Americans about today, the safety of, and, and... Of course, this image of Algeria is uh, still the image a uh, lot of uh, uh, countries abroad are having this image. But uh, I can assure you, uh, just speaking about the, the number of foreigners coming to Algeria, if we are to speak about statistics, I'm working in a museum here in the Kasbah, and we are doing statistics every year. Uh, in the 1990s, where Algeria was uh, in a way in uh, the civil war, we had 4,000 visitors. In 2005, 40,000 visitors. This just, the number just shows that things are getting better. And every year the number is increasing. And safety more or less is, especially in the big cities of Algeria, we are no more hearing about killings and all these things. Things are safe and people are coming. So I hope you are going to be among the pioneers and come to visit Algeria. Well, that's what we hope. We, I think it's, <laughs> it seems like a wonderful country and everyone's been very kind and reassuring about the safety. I hope Americans can learn from this as well. We hope so.